hey you guys i hope y'all are doing well on this beautiful friday and it is a beautiful friday for a change it has been raining like crazy did y'all know that the city of mobile is one of the rainiest cities in the u.s if not number one like we get a lot of rain and most people don't know that because we don't really complain that much but we get rained a lot but anyway i wanted to pop in and talk to you guys about my first um plastic surgeon consultation experience yeah. So I went to the doctor several weeks ago. Now I did tell y'all in the past that she told me that she didn't think that the insurance would approve surgery and all of that, whatever. So anyway, I I got a knot on my thigh. Well, not on my thigh, on my panty line. And she thought that maybe it was from the loose skin. So she um, set me up for a plastic surgeon to just give me a consultation and all that. I was super excited about it. But... I, I had a feeling where the knot came from. I think it came from the fact that I think I'm like super sexy now. Like super, super sexier. And um, I be wearing all them cute panties and stuff that be, you know, up in the cracks and the crevices and digging and all that. Honestly, I, I think that's where it came from. But whatever. So, I'm going to tell y'all what happened. Um, I arrive at the um, doctor's office and, you know, they call you to the back, do paperwork and all of that. So I wasn't sitting back there very long, maybe a couple of minutes. One of um, his nurses came in, took down like documentation, asked me the reason I was here, my complaints, things like that. Um, my doctor has sent over some stuff as well, so we were talking about that. Um, the doctor came in, well, before the doctor came in, I was sitting there responding to some of you guys on Facebook as well as, um, commenting in the, um, intermittent fast, woo woo, section. And as I was doing that, I heard her say, she's lost like 300 pounds by herself and then they was like everybody was like really why and I heard them and I was just like it just warmed my heart you know like wow that's crazy uh, I just felt some kind of way I just felt some kind of way I don't know you know I think sometimes I don't realize my accomplishments because I still see myself as being overweight that's something else in itself as y'all know <laughs> so anyway so a few moments after that the doctor walked in he was a referral of course from my primary um but he was he's older i want to say and which you know you would think maybe experienced but also you would be like because mm -hmm. i would say he was he was anywhere from between 80 and 85 years old but anyway he made me feel very very comfortable it's just that okay so anyway he came in and he saw asking me questions as I stated he made me feel very comfortable but he was very everything he said made me feel like why even try you know, he was like, I've never gotten anything approved. He was like, I've only gotten maybe as far as insurance because I'm sure most of his patients don't go through insurance or that's the impression that I got from the way he was talking to me. Um, so anyway, he was saying I've never got any leg or arm or anything approved throughout all the years I've been doing this. I've only maybe got one or two tummy tucks um, approved, but that was about it. I've never gotten anything else approved. And, you know, he just kept on saying what he can't do and, you know, things like that. And he was just so very discouraging. So I was just like, you know, whether I go through insurance or whether I go through another way, he would not be someone that I would want to do my surgery. So I need positivity in my life. And he was a Debbie Downer. And then he implied that he wants me to lose 30 more pounds and then come back in for a consultation for a tummy tub. Really? Like, what's up with doctors want everyone to be like 130, 150 pounds? Like, I don't understand that. Everybody, body should not be the same. I don't, the only highlight of that whole appointment was the fact that like <laughs> half of the doctor's office was coming in asking questions about my weight loss and things like that. Because as I was leaving out of the doctor's office, one of the ladies was like, he didn't even get any pictures. Like I overheard her, which basically lets me know that 
you know, he had no intentions, you know, after he met me and talked to me, he had no intentions of doing anything to help me. So that's that on that. So anyway, it is what it is. So besides all that, I am sitting here studying. You got to keep the water handy, my laptop, so I'm going to get back to it. I have been in the house since the wedding, y'all. Um, my hair, I'm just not feeling it. I don't feel pretty at all um and it's so tight i didn't want to wash it out or anything like that i'm just trying to let it loosen up i'm i'm gonna try to keep it in at least eight days um it's funny though because y'all know you know i had um relaxed hair before and this is the style that i used to wear or of course i used to wear it like this this is oh oh this this right here what i did that that brought back memories y'all <laughs> <laughs> that took me back some years and I pulled it like this but this is like my hairstyle like just the straight hair but I am just so different now I feel different I, I look different just the, the straight hair I, I guess I could probably get used to it again but it's just not it's just not doing it for me I don't feel pretty with it and then on top of that the hair itself is really really nice really nice it curls very pretty um i got this hair so long ago this hair is so old it's just been sitting in a bag where i ordered it and it's just been sitting there because i ordered it on you know just didn't know what i was gonna do with it but i ordered it, it was probably a good deal knowing me but anyway I had some curls in it. I've strained it and did a whole bunch of stuff with it. Um, the curls hold up so pretty. But the issue is, is that I have leave out. And of course, y'all know I'm natural. So I've used a couple of different um, heat protectants trying to see if they're going to help with the humidity, with the hair just frizzing up and all of that. I don't that. know if y'all can see it over here. I hope y'all can. But within 30 minutes of me being outside, the hair looks like that. So I have to keep a comb with me <laughs> like every 30 minutes and comb it down. And that's after I've used the heat protectant and flat ironed it and all of that. So yeah, this is not for so me. So this weekend I will be around. I am probably going to be at home Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Besides Saturday night, I'm going to a porte. I'm going to probably do something with this. I might just wear it like this and put like some jewelry around it so maybe it, it won't you know frizz up too much maybe but keep that comb handy um, but anyway i will be around talking to y'all most of the weekend about the intermittent fast i am so proud that so many of y'all joined y'all are doing so well i had someone update me four days in she had already lost seven pounds that's so awesome so awesome so happy that y'all are taking y'all lives and taking control back that's so awesome so of course i was everywhere with this video and at this point y'all probably don't even remember what we was talking about but we was talking about surgery consultations and i would love to know how did your first surgery consultation go because i know several y'all have been talking about surgery interested in it if you've had it before how many doctors you had to go through to get the results or the answers or the conversation or the welcoming that you want um let me know y'all experience thank y'all for watching as always i will see y'all around social media i love you Mwah.